Hey moms, Pepper Spray Patty here with another video of that hashtag mom boss self-defense video series bringing you tips and skills and strategies to make your life a little bit easier <laughs> and a lot safer. Pepper Spray Patty here, your independent women's self-defense instructor looking to empower you to confidently defend yourselves. <clears throat> so today, moms, I want to talk about self-defense uh, teamwork. <laughs> I'm sure you're all thumbs up for teamwork, right? Well, here's the thing. Who do you spend a lot of time with? I bring this topic up uh, because I have a lot of women a lot of times who will say to me, oh, well, I don't need to take a self-defense class because I have my husband, or I don't need to take a self-defense class because my husband carries, or I don't need to carry a personal protection device like pepper spray or a firearm um, because my, my husband has something, or my significant other, um, these are, you know, just thinking of some of the examples of things that people have said to me over the years. I don't need to take a self-defense class because, you know, I'm never alone. I don't need to take a self-defense class because, um, you know, my significant other knows martial arts. Or um, if I ever do leave the house late at night, I'm, you know, I'm with other people. All of those things... <sighs> <clears throat> All of those excuses, reasons, but excuses, probably stem from something else, with is, which is either a misunderstanding of what self-defense actually is um, or fear. Besides those two things, what that tells me about that person is they're not looking at the um, self-defense as a whole, really, because self-defense isn't about, isn't just about each individual person. I live in a home, in a neighborhood. So when I think about my home safety, it really isn't, the number one priority is myself and in my home and the people that are in my home, but it's also my neighbors. You know, I want, I want our home to be safe. You know, we have security cameras and we have um, target hardened our home, not just for us, but for our neighbors also. And when we're all bringing safety to our individual, to our family, to our neighbors, to our block, we're then bringing it to our whole community and that's how this becomes a bigger uh, movement versus just one woman's mission. So let me bring it down a little bit um, into uh, a smaller sense of how uh, teamwork in self-defense can specifically make it easier for you as a mom. So first of all, let's think about who's the person you probably spend the most amount of time with. Um, could probably be your kids. When you teach your kids, and the reason I hesitate is because it's not necessarily just about you teaching your kids, but when your kids learn self-defense and they learn it along with you, <clears throat> not only do you now can have a little confidence that your kids have confidence and know what to do, but you go out to the grocery store or wherever it is that you're out and about, now it's not just you. It's your kids also. And it doesn't matter what age they are. <clears throat> you know, there's martial arts academies that have two, three, two and three year old kids that are, are doing martial arts. So at such a young age, you can start incorporating 
the ability because here's what happens whether it's a martial arts program or you know watching self-defense videos or taking self-defense classes or bringing an instructor into your home for a private lesson it doesn't matter what it is that you're doing conversations that you have about awareness all of these things help you because when you have a three-year-old sitting in a cart and you're putting the groceries into the car that's a second set of eyes for you same thing as if you you know put them in the car if they're in the car first you have the opportunity to have a partner in this and helping you to stay safe which will make it easier for your kids to stay safe this is the same thing with your best friend uh, call your best friend up as soon as you're done watching this video and say hey we're taking a self-defense class this weekend I happen to have one happening in Kenosha but take one with them why because if that's someone that you spend a lot of time with when you're out and about you know I want to know the the friends that I hang out with the most are the ones that I know have a pepper spray on their keychain and I know they know how to use it they don't just have it there for you know fashion statement they know how to use it there's a reason that I choose to spend my time with those people why because that's my backup if 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 something happens and the two of us are together I know it's not just gonna be me protecting the two of us I know I'm gonna have a partner in this and then of course the most important person I think um, having a partnership with in self-defense is your partner your significant other so moms if you're married or with someone again another person to not just practice with but learn with have conversations um home invasion plan i talk about this a lot have a home invasion plan what to do if somebody breaks into your house and everyone should be a part of it don't leave the responsibility up to one person because one you ease their worry when they know that you know what to do and it's not just them it's not just them against whoever they, they they have some backup and they know that if something happens to them the next in line is you ma and that's the other reason why it's so important not just for you to learn self-defense but to encourage the people around you to take self-defense to learn to practice is because if something does happen to that other person you're the one that's going to have to step up to defend you and your kids now let's go back to the beginning when i said about empowering your kids in self-defense now you know that they are going to know what to do if you have a home invasion plan and the plan is that you know there's going to be a you're, you know a, a, a word a password and when that word is yelled the kids know that they you know lock their bedroom door they go in the closet um, they you know whatever it is that they do you know they're not gonna stick their head out the door into the hallway while burglars are you know shooting up your house they're gonna know exactly what to do and go and be safe or if there's an escape route or a safe room you know empower them to do that otherwise you're going to be scrambling around trying to find everyone and making sure everyone is safe this is about building confidence not just in yourself but in your family and the people around you that's my quick tip for the day hope you're having a wonderful wonderful february and stay safe